guys, it's Charlie, I hope you're all well. So today I'm going to be refilming a book review that I filmed, I think it was in my second video on this channel, um, but it's a book that I have mentioned quite a lot in my videos and um, I just feel that it's not talked about as much as it should be because it's an amazing book so I wanted to refilm this. Um, just quickly before I do that, um, I want to mention that I know some of you have been asking me to start a Goodreads account. I have started one now, so I'll put all the details to it down below, um, the link to it and stuff. And if you want to come and add me as a friend on there, or um, follow me on there, or whatever it is you do on there, I'm still new to it, then you can do it. But yeah, um, I started it a couple of days ago, I think now. Um, and it's really cool, I really like it. I'm a bit obsessed, I keep like checking every five minutes, looking at recommendations for books and stuff, but yeah, so if you want to add me on there, feel free to do so. Um, back on to today's video, the book I'm going to be reviewing is Memoirs of an Imaginary Friend by Matthew Green, and it looks like this. This is a bit beaten up because I've read it so much, but, um, and as I say, I reviewed this as my, on my second video on this channel, and I finished reading this at the beginning of last year, was it the beginning of last year? I think it was the end of 2011, um, and I finished it just in the beginning of 2012. And it's one of my favourite books of all time. So I'm going to read the back, and then I'll tell you more about it. So it says, My name is Budo. I have been alive for five years. Five years is a very long time for someone like me to be alive. Max gave me my name. Max is eight years old. He is the only human person who can see me. I know what Max knows and some things he doesn't. I know that Max is in danger and I know that I am the only one who can save him. So this book, as it says, follows the story of a little boy called Max. Now Max has an imaginary friend who is Budo and this book is told from Budo's point of view which I thought was amazing. I had never read a book like that before from an imaginary friend's point of view and Max isn't like other children he kind of doesn't make friends easy he doesn't really talk to anybody he doesn't learn things as quickly as the other children and Buddha's just kind of there as a comfort to him really uh, but one day Max is abducted I won't say who he's abducted by or why he's abducted or what happens or anything like that because I don't want to give too much away but he's abducted and the only person who knows where Max is, who's got Max, is Budo. But obviously with Budo being an imaginary friend, nobody can see him. So it's up to Budo in some way to save Max. But he's also in a rush against time because the longer Max is away from him, um, the bigger the risk that he will start to forget about Budo. And as he forgets about Budo, Budo will slowly disappear with him being imaginary. And throughout this story, you meet at Max's, like, you know, little school, junior school, you meet a lot of other imaginary friends from children there and you see them slowly begin to disappear as the children grow up and forget about them. And it was kind of sad and you you kind of, like, you, these imaginary friends, you, they kind of become real to you as you read this book and they disappear. It does become really, really sad. Um, and I just, I absolutely just loved this book I thought it was the coolest concept for a book right from the first page I was stuck in it like I just had to keep reading to find out what was going to happen if Budo was going to help him escape and I so wanted Budo to be real like and the good thing about this book is with them being imaginary friends although um, some of them they do describe and they're really really cool one of them like hangs up on the coat hanger with the kids coats which I thought was really cool but um it allows you to use your imagination to the best of your ability and these imaginary friends can be anything you want them to be and I really really loved that um, I loved Max's character, just this little boy um, you know, sitting in these worlds with all these people and he kind of, he's kind of scared, afraid of it all and like, you just want to give him a cuddle but then you learn that he doesn't like people giving him cuddles, even his mum and dad and um, I just, I absolutely, I just, I just, I can't tell you how much I loved this book. Um, and I just think if you haven't read this book, 
please pick it up and read it. You you won't be disappointed. If you've read things like, uh, what's it say on the back here? Room, the curious dog, of, the curious incident of the dog in the night time. Um, it's kind of in. Well, no, I, actually, I wouldn't say it is like those books. Um, it's as I say, it's totally different to anything I've ever read. And it says on the back. Um, a novel perfect for anyone who ever had a friend, real or otherwise. It was just captivating. It just... Oh, it just... It was just so amazing. I can't give it enough praise. I would give this book 5 out of 5 without a shadow of a doubt in my mind. And um, it kind of made me want to have an imaginary friend. And I think in my... What was the tag that I did just before Christmas? I think one of the questions was, which character in a book do you imagine to be real? And I said Budo, because I think we all should have a Budo, you know? I think we just all need a Budo at some time in our lives. Someone just to protect us and be there. Um, oh, it's just absolutely amazing. So, um, yeah, pick up this book. I... My words can't do justice to it. It is an incredible book. And, um, yeah, it just... It deserves more recognition than it gets because it is such an interesting concept. Um, and as I say, the fact that it's told from the point of view of Budo, the imaginary friend, just made it so original. So, pick up this book. You won't be disappointed. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!